Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Super Phantom Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Um, I know you guys are thinking, but you already did this game before. True, but the thing is that that one was a walkthrough. That one was supposed to be a walk in the park. I played it in the easiest difficulty. That way I can, that way you guys can get to know the story. But today we're going to be playing a uh, harder difficulty on Wolfenstein The Old Blood. And at the same time, I'm going to be talking to you about what, game, what makes this game great. Why is this game more unique compared to other games? And also I'll be telling you about... Um, what what's this game about? How it works? If you guys haven't seen my videos or any older videos, go in and go and watch that. But if you still don't know what's going on, I'll be guiding you through this when it comes to the game and the story. <clears throat> so, based on the box, based on the box right here from the game, the synopsis says that the year is 1946 and the Nazis are on the brink of winning World War II. In an effort to turn the tide of the uh, to, in an effort to turn the tide in the Allies' favor, B.J. Blazkowicz must embark on an epic two-part mission deep in Bavaria. So, based on that, it's bound to catch someone's attention. It, I know it, it caught my attention. I was looking for games. All I did was just looking for games. Um, let's see, let me start this. But um, all I did was just looking for games, just browsing, and then I saw this. Pass through blood spilled by warriors. I feel the winds from the gathering storm. So anyways, like I was saying, um, all I did was just browsing through GameStop, trying to, you know, just looking for games, and I, I was looking, just looking for first-person shooters. And they told me that, you know, they recommend this one. They recommend Wolfenstein, The Old Blood, and this one, and they, they said, just get it on a bundle, it's 30 bucks. I hope you don't mind the weight of the world on your shoulders, Agent Blaskowitz. I've got pretty solid shoulders, Agent One. Well, we're losing the bloody war. Nobody told me. HQ's put a tight lid on it. General Death said is manufacturing unstoppable killing machines in a secret compound. One of his lieutenants, Helga von Schabs, is keeping the folder mentioned in your mission briefing at her base of operations, Castle Wolfenstein. This folder contains the location of Death Head's compound. It could be our last chance, this, before the Nazis wipe out all that's good in the world. America would never fold. <laughs> all right, here's the checkpoint. Remember your cover. Commander Franz, Nazi bastard from the SS in Frankfurt. So the thing about this game that makes it really cool is that it's a World War II game, yes, but it's not the traditional one where you're the American hero fighting Nazis and are winning the war. No, in this one, it's an alternate timeline. It is it is completely different. As, 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 you, as you heard in the game, or even then in the subtitles, which is why I put subtitles out where you guys can read, because I have to talk, that it's 1946. If you guys know your history well, the war ended in 1945. So it's one year after the supposed like original timeline so the not only have the nazis actually turn the not only have the nazis yeah. are only winning the war but they managed to turn the tide and prolong it they managed to prolong the war meaning that the allies are actually struggling okay. to actually fight back go. and as you can see right Focus. there viewer, as you said as you read in the subtitles um right there's been no advancements, no advancements in technology. If this is, if you haven't seen the previous video of me playing this campaign, go ahead and watch that. But if this is the first time looking at, it, just take a good, look, take a look, um, a good amount of um, attention into the weapons that they use, the armor that they use, and type of weapons that they use. Because again, like they, the Nazis did not have this type of armor back in the day. Like, I mean, just just look at that type of armor. It it looks a lot more high tech, and well, in those standards. But again, it looks a lot more high tech. Than the ones the Nazis had. So yeah, basically the way I just got this game is just um again just browsing. They didn't know what I was gonna get, and then one of the, one of the employees recommended that I get this one, Wolfenstein, the old, the new order and the old blood. I got it. I don't regret it. It only cost me twenty bucks for two games. The thing about this game though is just single player only. If if you wanna play. If, if you if you want to play multiplayer like don't count on this because again that's the reason why it was 20 bucks for both 
because it doesn't have multiplayer it's just a story with a little bit of challenges and that's it but don't be counting on it to be playing like those call of duty type of crap because again as much as i like playing call of duty i don't think that the story that they portray in most games is good at all i mean i got world war ii i think the multiplayer is good but the story i just it doesn't it doesn't it didn't get me like it didn't get me even when characters died it, it wasn't that oh no he died <laughs> I think mostly because, I mean, they follow the timeline. They follow the correct timeline. And in the end, though, you know they're going to win. You know that the allies are going to win. But in this one, what makes it good is that this game doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't follow the timeline you're expecting. Bethesda and Machine Game said, fuck it. We're going to make our own timeline. And we're going to make the suspense better. Because, again, the story that you know, the history that you know does not apply here. You can say, whoa, the allies win in World War II. Can't they just win? No. But Machine Game said, no, we're going to do it the other way. We're going to do it the other way. We're going to make it the Nazis are winning. We're going to make it a lot of suspense. Well, that way, when the hero actually does claim a victory, it actually has meaning. It means something. It feels good for the player. It feels good for the player to actually say, you know what? I won, which is good, but at what cost? Because the thing is that every victory that you make here is going to cost you something. Whether it's going to be an ally or it's going to be, you know the mission at itself any victory you make in this game will cost you something and and, and that's what and that's what makes the victories very i would say very impactful that, that's why this, that's why i like this game i've played it i would say countless times i never get tired of the story neither of them i have wolfenstein the old blood the new order and the new one the new colossus which i will start doing the live commentary on i only yeah, uploaded like one, one video of it but I'm going to delete it and I'm going to do the live commentary That's one to explain to you work. why that game is good as well. The only the only thing that I didn't and like Vic, about this game though, about the old blood, himself. was the that the it was um it was too short. It's too short. And that's why I think that if you're going to get this game and if you're going to get um, the old blood, get it with the bundle. Get it with the one with the new order. Because again, now it's like 20 bucks now. It's incredibly cheap. You're getting two full games for 20 bucks. Yeah, it's just a story mode. There's nothing, no multiplayer, anything like that. But again, though, I mean, if you're on a budget and if you really like good storytelling and first person shooters, just play, just get the game. Just get the game. It's a really good game. It's worth it. You'll get invested in the characters, first of all. And you'll like the story. Because, I mean, this this story, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how it's going to go down. The Nazis are winning. The history you know does not apply here. should give us the location of Death's Head's compound. Once we have that, well then, we can launch an assault on his base of operations. Shoot him dead. Turn this failure of a war around and be back just in time for tea. The thing about like this part is that um it is they, they sound very optimistic. They sound like you know what we are gonna do this, we will succeed, and we're gonna win this war. And that's the thing is that that's the thing that makes it really good is that despite right. that they're losing, they're still very Off optimistic, and it gives you hope. I'm it gives you a reason to keep on right fighting. Because I mean, look we'll at this. It's only me and him. It's only me and Agent One. In this case, it's Richard Wesley. It's only me and him. There's no army, there's no military backing us up. It's just us two walking into a castle filled with Nazis. So, I mean, as you can see, the odds are very, very slim. There's, there's hardly any chance of succeeding here. And again, they have to keep their covers. They find them out, and, and they're screwed, pretty much. And the mission just gets a lot harder. Okay, okay. inside the elevator. Holy crap. Yeah, this is the thing about this game is that there's a lot of stuff. This is the thing is that, that's why I like is that this game actually makes stealth logical. Which is good, because I mean, think about it. You know, if you're by yourself, with another man, another soldier, in a castle filled with Nazis, do you honestly think that going in and just shooting everyone on sight is going to be a good idea? So that, that's what I like about this game, is that it makes stealth, like, actually part of the game. And it makes it logical. Like, it, stealth is actually something that's, that's just common sense. You know, it's like, hey, you know what? Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I, you know, whatever. I, I'm by myself. 
Fucking shit. Okay. Man, you know, it's like, oh, I'm by myself. The logical thing that's gonna no, do, that's gonna. Okay. Don't shoot. It's just me. But anyways, so yeah, like the logical thing that normally would happen in most games in a stealth-based mission would be shooting everyone on sight. You know, but this game actually the self is part of the game, and it's the logical thing to do. Because again, the Nazis are winning. You can't afford any man that you save is 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 the best thing you can do. The more sol the more soldiers you save, the better you, the longer you can fight. And again, this mission is crucial. You're you're trying to get the folder of the man who's behind the reason why the Nazis are winning, and that's the most important thing. You need to stay alive. You need to make sure this mission goes perfectly well. Pathfinder calling Landseer. Come in, Landseer. Over. This is Landseer speaking. Over. Landseer, we can't find Lucy's present. Over. Pathfinder, I have new information regarding Lucy's present. Rendezvous with me as soon as you can. We will discuss further. Over. Roger. Pathfinder out. Holy crap! Holy shit. Oh shit. Fuck. That was the thing about this one too. This does not have auto aim or auto or aim bot, okay? So this one does require skill to aim. You need to get used to it. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. baby and the way this game worked the health system it's a lot different in order to make sure that you are not that typical gun ho jump in the middle of the situation and shoot everyone on sight they actually have a health system I meaning it's a limited regenerative health system but at the same time though you will have to get health packs you will have to be careful on how you progress through the missions because you will lose your health and it will not regenerate at a certain point so that's 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 the thing they will like basically basically what machine games decided to do is to say hey player you actually have to be careful in these missions you're not gonna you're not you're not gonna the way this game works is different than the ones you usually play and we still have a chance Kessler knows something so yeah this is why this game is actually pretty good and it's all it's really challenging you know rather than make a challenging multiplayer they decided to make a challenging gameplay which is good because again, you're not, if you get shot 150 down. times and you're still alive, guess what? That amount of health you have left, that's all you got. Which makes the mission a lot harder. No shit, no turning back. We just blew up the entire office. But yeah, so this is a pretty good game. So I will be doing other videos um, from time to time. This, this is going to be the first one I'm going to do. I'm going to do them from different missions. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will be uploading more soon. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good rest of the day, you guys. See you later.